Praise the Lord. Welcome back to Christ First Homemaking. My name is Shanice. If you are new here, I just thank you for coming to spend some time with me today. Today we were back in the kitchen doing some meal prep. My kids started school this week, and so this project was supposed to have been done days prior. However, I, if you watched my last video, I hadn't been feeling good, and so I took that time to kind of rest. So, today we got in the kitchen, I did some breakfast meal prep for emergencies, I will be getting up cooking breakfast, however, there, if there's days where we're rushing or something like that, I still want to be able to have something quick to take out of the freezer for them to still have a hot meal before they go to school. And so we ended up today, we ended up with 20 pancakes, 15 breakfast sandwiches, biscuit breakfast sandwiches, and about 30 or so French toast sticks. Um, the, I use a brioche bread recipe, recipe I never tried before. I was supposed to do the recipe days prior just to see how the bread came out. Um, I did overcook it a little bit, but it still worked for what I needed it for, so that was fine. Um, I would probably not use it for anything else except for this type of project. Um, but these were able to go in my freezer. Um, it felt so great because my daughter's, my oldest daughter's first day of school, we woke up late and so we were rushing. And so I was able to pull something out and she still was able to have a hot breakfast before we left out so that was awesome and then um, I do have to go back and make more pancakes and biscuits um, that'll be on a different video though I will link the recipe for the biscuits and the French toast and brioche down below the pancake recipe I'll link the video for that because I had already shared that um, recipe I made me once or twice already so I'll put those videos linked down below as well so that you can go watch those videos to get the recipe for the pancake mix and yeah so let's go hang out today we are going to be talking about renewing our minds especially when it comes to homemaking y'all because I know and I see videos all the time um, like staying motivated in the mundane and staying motivated when you know you feel like you're not seen and those are real issues I'm not disputing that those are not real those are real but it all is a mindset because and I'm gonna say and I'm speaking for myself and I'm saying it's a mindset because when I first started like being more intentional with the things that I was doing in my home which, which was probably about two and a half years ago or so um before that it was like hard even just to do one task and I felt like this is I'm always washing clothes I am always cooking I feel like it's a never-ending thing of me doing something and I didn't feel seen I felt like my kids were like yeah mom's gonna do it because she's supposed to and they didn't I felt very unappreciated but it took for me to have a renewed mind as the Bible talks about in Romans chapter 12, verse 2. And I'm going to read that verse in just a second. But my missionary came to me about two years ago. Um, and she was like, you need to start praying about the issues that you are lacking in. The areas that you are struggling with, you need to start praying. And then years before that, she had told me, um, and I, I did express to her, I'm like, I feel like, I feel I'm like a maid, like these kids don't appreciate anything I do. And she's like, well, they're not going to, they're kids. You know, they're not going to recognize the work that you put in when they are small. But as they get older, they will begin to appreciate the things that, they, that you do because they will be able to see them more so than when they're like two and three years old. <laughs> so, and that is true. I will, I will talk about that later, but that, that's very much true. But I, she, so we had that conversation, um, years prior to this, the other conversation. And so she was letting me know, you need to start praying that you would love to do the things in your home, that God would help you to do those things that you would, um, love your children different things like that because those were areas that I was struggling in and so I did I began to pray about those things and I will say I saw the Lord continuing to move and change my mindset on stuff now I'm not gonna say I have arrived there are still days y'all I still have to pray my way through okay I mean I get up in the morning and I'm talking about on days when I'm like oh 
I can't do it today. You know? And so I still had to get up and pray my way through. Lord, okay, I have the laundry to do today. The girls need their hair done or the floors need to be swept them up. Help me to do those things. I'm tired. I really don't feel like doing them today. But Lord, help me to do them. You know, and to do it with a smile on my face, not to feel like I'm obligated because just because we are homemakers, don't forget we are not obligated to do anything. We do this because it is a labor of love, because we want to serve our families and serve them well, to be stewards and keepers of our home, as the Bible tells us in Titus chapter 2. Now, This is a way that you serve the Lord as well Because like I had said in a previous video Homemaking is a calling It's not just something that you just do do. It has to line up Especially when you're talking about biblical homemaking It has to line up with what the word of God says Because when we go back to Romans chapter 12 verse 2 It says And be not conformed to this world But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind That ye may prove what is that good And acceptable and perfect will of God And this goes for any aspect of your life. This is not just for homemaking, but I brought this scripture up because I am, I want my mind to be renewed from the way the world views homemaking as if it is something that is lazy that women stay home because they're barefoot and in the kitchen. There are some women who enjoy being in their kitchen and barefoot. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. And not to conform to what society believes that homemaking is. Oh, you have to have all these things to be a homemaker. If you don't do this in a day, you're not a homemaker. There, Everybody's homemaking is going to look different because everybody's house management looks different. My house is not going to look like your house. I am a single mother with three children. I don't have a husband. So somebody that has a husband and two kids, it's going to look different for them. For me... My ministry is serving my children and ensuring that I'm bringing them up in a godly house home. Is that easy? No, absolutely not, especially being a single parent. But I do know that as long as I continue to lean on the Lord and seek godly counsel and talk to the Lord about what's going on with me, he will continue to help me. And so when I say I want my mind to be transformed, I don't want it to be in a, in a space where you feel like if I don't complete X amount of things, then I am not an effective homemaker. Because being an effective homemaker is doing what you have done in that day and doing it well. And we know when we have done things and they were not done well, okay? We know. But I'm talking about when you cook dinner. If you're just throwing stuff on the plates and you're just throwing anything just for dinner, like, oh, y'all, so this is what y'all going to eat today, that was not done well. Cooking dinner well is when you have put thought into what does my family like to eat? Taking the meat out if you eat meat ahead of time. Especially if you're a homemaker, we have the time to be able to plan meals because that's it's called the management of our home. We have to be able to balance things. So that we don't feel as if we are not conforming to what society says a homemaker is. Or what a homemaker looks like. Everybody's homemaking is going to look different. But one thing I will say is to keep Christ in your homemaking. Because at the end of the day, that's where it's come from. Homemaking didn't just come from the world. It came from the Bible. Where women stayed home and they were as the Bible calls them, keepers of their home. Does God condemn a woman working? No, absolutely not. That's not even what it says. You go back to Proverbs um, 31, the Proverbs 31 woman, she worked, but she also took care of her home and she did it well. And she glorified God in her homemaking. She made sure that when she did things, it lines up with the word of God. It wasn't just done on her own or in her own strength. And so when the Bible says, and be not conformed to this world, the the Lord does not want us to have a mindset that looks back at the world to define who we are. Not even to act and do things as the world would tell us to do them because that's what they say. 
it says, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Our minds have to be renewed. They need to be twisted around and changed in order for us to continue to be effective homemakers and love our children, love our families and do it well to steward our families in our homes as the Bible would tell us to do. Our mind has to be renewed. We are in this world, but we should not be living by the world. We should not be conforming to the world's ideas and their concepts. We should be looking at the Lord Jesus Christ for what we are supposed to be doing, how we should live. The the Bible is a blueprint, y'all, for how we should be living our life. So when it says that our mind should be renewed, it can come in so many different fashions lining up with the Bible. And when I say that, I'm talking about, you know, reading your word, talking to the Lord, spending time with him, watching a Bible movie, listening to praise and worship, fellowshipping with your brothers and sisters, godly counsel, church services. You know, those are the ways that your your mind can be continually renewed as long as it is being stayed on the Bible, the word of God. It says that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable. And perfect will of God. Because if our mind is not renewed and we are conforming to the world, how are we going to know what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God? How will we know those things? We wouldn't. We wouldn't be able to know those things because our mind will be looking at the world for what's acceptable, good, and perfect. Because the world has a different idea of who we are as people. And who we are as homemakers. So I just encourage you today in, to transform your mind, transform your thinking. You know, it, it, homemaking is not going to look the same for everybody. But go back to the word, seek the scriptures to find out what does God say that you are. Find out what the Bible calls homemaking, keepers of your home, and how that applies to you. If you feel like you're beat down and broken by the end of the day, you might want to re-evaluate your homemaking because it's supposed to be peaceful. It's supposed to be slow. It's supposed to be joyous. You're not supposed to be all beat down at the end of the day. We may have days like that, yeah. But the Lord wants you to lean on Him for His help. We are not defined by how many dishes you wash and how many clothes you clean. So I just wanted to encourage you guys today to transform your mind. Renew it by the Lord Jesus Christ. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Turn that notification bell on so that you can be notified when I do upload another video. I'm so glad that you spent some time with me today. If you um, like, comment down below. We can continue to fellowship in the comments. And if you want to come on back, that is awesome. I would love to see you guys back here. Love to see some new faces. And also, like I said, I will link those videos and those recipes down below. And I have some more videos coming out. This one was a little late. Um, if you watched my last video, like I said, I had been not feeling too well. But I wanted to keep on moving. This one was already recorded from like four days ago. So I just wanted to make sure I got this out to you guys. Because it is a Saturday morning and I am definitely trying to renew my mind this morning to get back on track with the Lord. Just to make sure that I am not even conforming to any ideas of the world as concerning my walk in Christ or being a homemaker. And that's all I got for y'all today. Thank you for hanging out with me. This is Christ's First Homemaking and I am signing off. Peace.